Last bridge mills, I built you an arch. But the very next day, you said Kate will stay. This year, to reduce the stress, I'll build you a massive truss bridge. Riveted girders with a really big flange. The building decks of bridges that will make you a man. How about cantilevered? We'll build a massive trust bridge. Merry Bridgemas, fellow engineers. Yes, today is the big day. I hope you're all wearing your Merry Bridgemas sweaters. You have the limited edition Santa Paddy plushie sat next to you, and you're ready for some bridge building. By the way, that song you just heard, that was a snippet of what I was going to do for the 2 million subscriber special, an entire Christmas song cover album, Bridgeified. However, we didn't quite make 2 million, so probably for the best. They'll likely just stay on my hard drive and never see the light of day. Oi, stop cheering. Stop cheering you. I saw that. I saw that. Anyway, let's get into Polybridge. We're currently taking on the Arctic Tundra and the Twisted Turnpike levels at the same time. So let's start out on this one, Interchange. Now, oh no, look how many hydraulic phases there are. Oh no, I've just realized why I haven't played this in so long now. <laughs> We've got, okay, we've only got four bits of road. How far does that get us across? It gets us, oh, okay, we have we have a bit of slack. Oh, I wonder, do I need to do, does it reach diagonally? Oh no, got a bit of slack there as well. Interesting. But yeah, before I get too carried away, let's just see what we actually need to do. So dirt bike, got to get up to that point and then up to the flag. Yeah, okay, so I was, I was actually right in my diagonal road thing. So let's do a bit of that. We'll fill in with road bush. Yeah, what we've got to do is basically rotate that up to there to get that one done and then probably move it down i mean it actually depends on the order of which everything goes so if we click this little level info up here we can see what happens so okay so dirt bike goes then hydraulic phase then that goes so it means my first movement and that's that's all we're going to do to start with just our first movement we got to make it make our bridge do that which actually isn't too bad because i have this node in the middle so if we just dangle like ropes like that when we add joints to either end i'm pretty sure motorbike gets over then can you see despite everything else like just dangling that point does not move in the middle which means if we were to to truss this up like that just so it doesn't dangle everywhere make that a joint with that locked in and make that a joint then all we got to do is rotate about the middle and i can probably do that i mean maybe just by moving nodes to the right so i'm pretty sure nodes weigh more than no nodes so yeah that's going that way oh no <laughs> Did not move fast enough. Oh, what I could do though to slow it down. This is a little a little hack I learned. If you have a hydraulic, then this car won't move until that hydraulic has like shrunk all the weight. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, it, it didn't lock in. Fine, let's actually, let's rotate this with hydraulics. So what is actually the easiest way of doing that? Oh, adding rotation. I mean, I could do that. That's going to like, that is going to cost a lot. But if I use some hardcore equations and mathematics, you can only learn by doing 10 years of civil engineering. Then you'll see it moves to the perfect place where it locks in and then allows that to go up. Nice. Okay. So next up, what what happens next in, in the order? So both those go and then, oh, then the yellow one goes again. Okay, so basically in my hydraulic controller, once the, the buggy gets up to there, we want to say, oi, you do not go again. Because then the bridge is sort of locked like that direction. Yeah, we want this one to stay locked. And then remember, the bridge is going to be that way. So we need the right side to move up twice. Wow. Okay. Okay. I tell you what then, I feel like maybe I should get rid of, let's get rid of these ropes in the middle. And instead, if I do them from the very top, that gives me some space. And what I may need to do as well is sort of like replace some of the rope with hydraulic. So if I mirror that to the other side in the hydraulic controller, say, no, don't go yet. But that stage, I do want you to go. All right. So that's the stage that we've done. Then this point, the bridge should lift up okay yeah but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to detach so if i add a joint there oh this is getting confusing i'm already confused i don't know how you at home are following but that don't lock that unlock so after this car goes up the whole bridge should move up yes it does but it but it rotated where does it stop it stops right so where does it actually stop oh it stops i'll tell you what that's not bad that's not bad 
<laughs> Although everything died, I reckon that would like nearly lock in. If I can just tweak it so it gets to like the right angle. All right, so ready, ready. This comes up. It locks in there. It doesn't quite lock in at the bottom. Oh, why did it unlock? Hang on, why did it unlock? Was it because... Yeah, this phase, I think the joint was set to unlock. Okay, so it goes up to there, locks in. Oh, why is it? Why are you unlocking? Stupid node. Okay, well, what I may need to do instead then, rather than having this node in the middle, maybe I do actually want two hydraulics. Because then maybe I can get this to go to like the same point. Oh, no. no. Ignore that. Ignore that. Right, back to this. What if I What if I actually remove one from that side and then just keep that one as rope? Because then what I'm thinking, yeah, it locks in there and then we just pull it from this side so it actually rotates. Ooh. Okay, that's not far off. If I can make that a little bit longer and when this goes up, that should go a bit higher. Oh, I went too high. It broke a little bit shorter. Okay, so now this top one locks in at the right place. So then you go. Nice. Okay, then I've just got to figure out how to do the final bit of movement, which is basically what I did the first time, but like, again. So what I'm thinking, if I copy this and shove it... Oh, it needs to go there, doesn't it? Okay, put that there. I then need to hold it in place with something, so that can be you. I'm going to make sure they're on different things so I can disconnect them. Then I've just got to say, right, every hydraulic phase, keep it locked basically. Right, and this also needs to be a joint. I can lock both of those in, though. Oh, wait, oh, wait. No, no, no. That's too high. That's too high. I want to cut them and shove them down one, don't I? They got to be there. Okay, that could work. Maybe. Potentially. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm not sure what I've done, but it might work. So that goes down to the right. Okay, buggy goes up. Entire thing moves up to there so that the buggy can go. Yes, that node locked in. And then, oh no. Okay, so, so once the buggy gets up to the flag, which I think is this one, we need that to not unlock, that to not unlock, that to not unlock, but everything else to unlock. Have I done that right? I, I don't know. I'm so confused now. Right, what I may need as well, if I just copy that to there, just so I know where this middle node finishes, I can then make that a joint and that a joint so that hopefully I now have the middle node in the right place. So if we press play, this might work. So it goes up to there, mid- Oh no! If I hold that node in place with a rope, it was held in place with the wood, but I think all the joints were getting confused. If I do that, though, oh, it worked. All right, let's just watch that again. So it spins, it lifts up, it then spins again. Oh, he's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. I'm in the top 39%. I literally don't care. That's a hydraulic level completed to the gallery. All right, so lowest budget. People did this for under eight grand with one hydraulic. Oh, so they, they used the weight thing and then they made it a hydraulic. So the, the hydraulic phase lasts longer before the vehicles go. That's really clever. Fair play. Alternatively, it looks like there's, yeah, it looks like you had to use, how does, what? I don't even understand how that works. Yeah, quite a lot of different ways of doing this. So presumably there's the bridge in the middle and everything else is like not touching. Yeah, it's all connected to the outer edges. Yeah, I feel like I got the movement right. I just didn't really cheat mine up at all. So let's have a look at the highest budget. Oh yes, RCE propaganda. Oh, we got annihilated. Oh, and one of those. Hello. So this one, more RC... Oh no, not RCE propaganda. Just CE propaganda. Oh no, just E propaganda. <laughs> I'm just an engineer. No oh no, now I'm nothing. All right, this... <laughs> I I like the use of the of the background to uh yeah <laughs> we got here we got a large elephant oh it's got like a pierced nostril you know like you see balls with like a ring in their nose this elephant has like a wire hanging out its nose that you can see it as it gets higher you can, oh it dropped it drowned the elephant drowned oh then we have an artsy solution if I was an artist this is what I would have done a lovely diamond truss you've then got vexagons which are not the best guns nice try though oh that is a really cool bridge oh my goodness oh that was decent i like that you've then got it's the nifty sponsored solution nifty for all your tea nifting needs and then we got that man oh what did that say hang on we gotta go back it said hi rce nice hi that man what have you what have you got here mate you got is that like a smiley face and like two eyes one of them is red i'm not gonna lie i don't really know what i'm looking at did you use the writing to turn into like a counterweight for this crane. If so, that's insane. Oh, Yunru, did you see that font? Did anyone see that font? But this one, they've just got straight hydraulics. Ooh, that's interesting. So what happens here? The whole thing comes up to reveal the lovely font. All right, we've then got... Oh, Alan. 
<laughs> Alan. We've then got Squillium with the vertical RC prop gun. It's like a really tall red hard hat. Now this one clapped by Colin. Just a pair of ears with a bridge in the middle. That's sort of what the inside of my head looks like. Right, we've then got what is this? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's actually good hydraulics. I thought it was carnage, but it's actually... Oh, I mean, is it? It wasn't perfect. Says me like I'm a pro. Oh my god, that does look perfect. Look at that. There's no there's no hydraulics. They've actually done this without hydraulics. It's all just joints and weights and wood and... Oh, wow. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am not worthy. All right, then we've got an absolute mess of... Oh no, it's not mess. Oh, <gasps> do you see the middle bit of road? It's spinning upside... It's like flipping over each time. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and on that note, I don't think I'm worthy to look at these anymore. Let's go to the next level, which is back in the Arctic Tundra. We're doing No Wrong Way. And I'm pleased to say there's absolutely zero hydraulics in this level. And presumably, no wrong way of doing this. So if I just press play, what happened? Okay, so it just falls straight down into the sploosh. Uh, it looks like we've got a load of stars to get. Does No Wrong Way mean we can get them in any order? Okay, let me turn the grid on. Let me just do that to try and slow it down. Okay, slow it down a bit too much. But if I do that to slow it down just slightly, then okay. Okay, got it. We can get these in any order. There's No Wrong Way. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! Uh, but we do... Oh, we do need to get them all. That's quite annoying. Right, well, I feel like... If I were to keep that there, I could probably just like... Oh, let's turn the grid off. I could probably bridge down to that point and then like go straight up to here. Now, levels like this, I'm literally... I'm not going to bother like getting them cheap, whatever. So that slows us down. We get up to there. Oh, it breaks. It breaks. We got that star. I'm wondering if I go a little bit higher, can we... Oh, man. Dropping down to the one beneath will be really hard. I'm wondering, would it be easier to try and go like... If we go down to here, up to there. There, and then perhaps try and jump back to the start. This is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of work. Let's shove a load of a load of steel in. All right, then we need a way to slow this thing down. So if I do something like that, I'm hoping it will jump over this like dodgy flat bit and land on the slope. So huh, huh, oh that's nice, smooth. Oh, 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 we nearly got all of them. If I just tweak that a bit, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got that one. Nice. I can turn that into a spring, perhaps. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Aside from the absolute death of it landing down there, we did quite well there. The question is, how do we then, like, how do we then get to the flag? Um, <laughs> that much I haven't really thought through. But if you notice at the start, this first bit, we don't actually need road. Like, I'm pretty sure all of that could not be road. And yeah, aside from aside from the strength failing, so let me just put steel in its place. Uh, the bridge is absolutely fine. So yeah, car comes down there. So what we could do, potentially, if we were to make this road underneath, then perhaps that would be a nice a nice sort of detour. I'm going to try and include the road like structurally, but I may just have to come back and like do what I've done there and just keep the steel going all the way across. But yeah, okay, that didn't affect anything. Yes, it did break here, but I can I can literally, if I just grab this, disconnect it from the rest of everything and then just really spring it up. Like, will that be enough springage? Oh, it did. It took the impact. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we did it for 128 grand. Okay, right. Let's just... <laughs> Let's just watch the boing, the spring. <laughs> Hang on, one more time. I gotta, I gotta slow, slow it right down. I really want to see like what happened. I feel like the front wheels like grip on, like down like that. Front wheels just about gripping on, and then yeah, it's all good. Just drives on underneath. That is actually not that bad for a first attempt. I will take the top twenty-six percent. Let's go have a look in the gallery. How cheap was this done for? Zip zero. Check cost modded. Okay. <laughs> At least they admitted it. At least they did admit it. What? <laughs> what have they got? Like infinitely long bits of road. Mad. Uh, this one. Oh, mere engineer. You've dropped to the form of architecture using dodgy dangly roads. Like, oh, what is that? I know it must be really hard, but I wish like stuff like this could be patched out of the game. It's like, what is that? Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking at any these they're all the same. They're all the same. Cheap is boring. We're going straight to the highest budget. And oh boy. <laughs> there's there's no wrong way, remember? So this one for 400 grand. We can see where the budget's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Now we really can see where the budget's gone. Uh, I was going to say it's gone in all that truss work. I mean, to be fair, that's pretty much like mine, but just with better engineering in it. This one. Oh, look, a nice loop at the front. Look at the... 
Look at that tower holding everything up. I wonder if that's actually needed. Like, whether the bridge fails without it. Anyway, this one, look into the all-seeing eye. The all-seeing eye. Oh, look, they did the they did the double road thing that I did. We're definitely on the same skill level, right? This one, RCE. Oh, it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Felt a bit like a bit surfy, a bit wavish of that. Uh, this <laughs> Alan. Oh, my God. Okay, Alan, that's... <laughs> Why are they flopping all over the place? Oh my goodness. Alan. All right, this one. Farts are funny, and yet you included no farts in your design. You included something far funnier. Um, I like your font, by the way. And your firemen in their helmets. I like that. All right, Matthew is a noob. But let's see what we got. We got... We got knobs falling from the sky. Okay, this one. Oh my goodness, man. Have you not heard of like neatness? I thought mine was untidy. All right, more money, please. Okay. Also, hi, RC. Hello. <laughs> Hello, that man. Oh, what does that say? Penguin. Okay. Okay. That's actually quite nice. All intention there. Ropes everywhere. Beautiful arch over the top. That's like a spider web design. This one. Oh, what are they? There's like screwdrivers and other tools falling from the sky. Again, nice. Everyone's got nice font this week. This one by Kiev. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> Um, ironically, actually, here is a story time with Matt. So when I used to work designing highway roads, some of the more experienced engineers, like the 40 year plus engineers, uh, whenever they described like road sort of like sort of vertical, like how lumpy it is, like how like how like flat or how like curved it is. Do you know what I mean? Like lumps and bumps and stuff. Um, if it if it wasn't like this, if it wasn't like um like the curves you see here, if it was if it was completely flat. Um, ironically, they used to describe that as as flat as a witch's tit. Story time with Matt. All right, on that note, we had far too much fun there. Let's get back to the hell that is hydraulics. Locked in a box. So, oh no, I've only got two bits of road. How have I only got two bits of road? How have I only got two bits of road? What? Are you sure, game? Are you sure about that? Two bits of road and 55 grand. <laughs> Are there... What's the hydraulic phases? Oh, there's one hydraulic phase. Wait, and then they both go at the same time? Excuse me. Oh, look, there's the car. The car in the middle is locked in a box. There's road there. Okay. Okay, I think I know what we got to do then. I think we need to... If we do something like that and then put a split joint there, then presumably these... They can like unfold to make like two bits of road there. I think that's what we're going for. Okay, so I need to make inside, yeah, I guess a truss like that sort of thing, maybe. So if we have that and then I need to make that flat. So if I make one of those a hydraulic with expand, same on that side. Oh, look, they go, they go almost flat. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Hang on, let me just make them a joint. So then I can just how do I how do I make them go if we cross over like that that should bring them out a bit okay yeah not quite flat enough but not terrible what I'm thinking then what if we swap that for let's just put some extra nodes there and then maybe like a straight across hydraulic because that should push way more force oh hang on hang on it's all breaking it's all breaking let me let me just get rid of those hydraulics for now let me just see if i were to do that sort of thing okay that pushed one out not the other one so if i then put my hydraulics over those bits instead does that do what i want it to do oh that's good that wasn't bad. That left side. Okay, left side was doing what I wanted to. Right side, not in the slightest. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm getting anywhere with this. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Oh my goodness. That started off with a really simple design <laughs> and ended up really complicated and expensive. Still under budget though, so I'm not going to cry. But uh, there we go. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Hydraulics. I'm in the bottom 5%. I mean, whatever. We will look at the lowest budget though. Oh, it's cheese. It's cheese. Who would have thought? I mean, to be fair, I, I will definitely allow that. They're actually quite cool. This one. Oh, that's pretty similar to what I was trying. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, this one is though. Go Saigon. How how did you get that to work? Anyway, let's have a look at the, the highest budget because, oh, look at that. It's that man waving at me, falling knob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my editor's falling from the sky, is he? Anyway, oh, that's actually quite a cool bridge. You cannot deny that. That's way better than anything I could come up with. Now, this one, you've got high... Oh, an RCE on the right. How did you... Hang on. How did you actually... How are people so clever? <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate hydro... I can get on board with this guy. What is he... Do? Oh, that's basically what I did. I'm not even... <laughs> That's really similar to mine. Just giving up on life in terms of hydraulics and then building like two bridges over the cross. Oh, look, Yunru. 
<laughs> thinking Zarek said, how does everyone know that I was going to hate this level? I feel like all these solutions are like, they're reading my thoughts. You know, think, oh, Alan, have you just done a sensible sleep? Oh, Alan, you've then got the Nifty sponsored solution. Oh, raising the R and the E in the name of Nifty. That was a nice rhyme. You've then got Artsy with a very arty solution. Ooh, look at that. You've then got, oh, hi, Paddy. Paddy's involved. Cheers to Paddy. And then you've... <laughs> <laughs> Beazle Bob, you've made two knobs. Another rhyme. And we've then got Payden with the with the suspension with the arch over the top as well. Love a bit of cableage. And we've then got this guy who's got oh look, they got a massive top hat. You don't see many yellow top hats these days. You don't see many top hats at all these days, actually. And then finally Aubergine with some it looks like hand-sketched RC propaganda there. Nice little bridge to finish. Alright, well anyway, that level pretty much finished me off. So we're gonna end it there today. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye.